A former American prisoner of war and survivor of the infamous Bataan Death March has told how he thinks young people today can learn a valuable lesson from history. Lester Tenney was invited to attend Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's recent speech at a joint meeting of the U.S. Congress and Senate. The 94-year-old was captured by Japanese forces and forced to mine coal at a camp during World War II. The problem is that the young people of Japan do not know what happened. I have been invited back to Japan five times to lecture to university students. I have lectured to students three or four hundred in a class, and I tell the story of Bataan and what happened. And the young people come back to me, and they say, "I asked my great grandfather, my grand, I asked my grandfather what happened during the war." My grandfather says, "No, no, 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 they won't talk about it." So the grandfather doesn't talk about it. So the young people don't know what happened, and I think that's disgraceful. So when you ask the question, did they learn from it? It's very difficult to learn if you were never told about it. I think that we have to have clarification. We have to have honesty. We have to let the young people know the history. That's the only way we can correct it is by knowing it. Tenney also survived the Bataan Death March, a forced march of American and Philippine prisoners of war by the Japanese during World War II. The 63-mile march in the Philippines resulted in the death of an estimated 7,000 to 10,000 people.